Hi everyone, my name is Naomi Hartle and I am the STEM and Science subject matter expert for School Specialty and I am back to share a couple quick tips on different assessment tools that you can use to support your remote and distance learning. And I just want to um, preface this to start by saying the tools that I'm sharing can really support any subject areas. I've taught math, I've taught science, I've taught physical education, I've taught health, career education, um, fine arts, and at one point even taught ho home economics and cooking and sewing. So um, these platform tools I've used in the majority of the classes that I've taught and the majority of the subject areas that I've taught. So please know that anything that I'm sharing with you is diverse and it can go across all areas. If you can use it in physical education, you sure as heck can use it in your science class as well. So that being said, before we dive into these tools, I also just want to say a quick little bit on assessment. It is important to understand that throughout this process, we should really just be focusing on that formative assessment, checking for understanding piece, rather than summative assessment right now. Uh, the summative assessment might be a little bit more difficult to do with our students, especially when they're so far away from us. These types of assessments uh, help you as the educator really see where your students are at in their current learning journeys and where we need to take them. Um, it, you know, formative assessment helps identify their strengths and their struggles, and then from there you can create that learning plan to support them. Uh, so some of the tools I'm about to share can really support you in doing some exit flips or entrance cards, uh, journal entries, concept maps, and different self-assessments self or even peer assessments, uh, as well as group assessments too. So the first one that I want to talk about is that uh, program called Kahoot, uh, K-A-H-O-O-T exclamation mark. Uh, Kahoot is a game-based learning platform that brings engagement and fun. I've used this with my students and we have a blast every single time we use it. Um, I, at first I didn't really think about using this one as a, a remote or distance learning tool because um, when I've done it, it's always been through face-to-face -face pieces. Uh, but the cool thing about this is they can do it. You can host it live if you're doing like a, a Zoom or a Google Hangout or a Skype call with your students. You can do it live that way, which is pretty cool. So you can create your own Kahoot in minutes for, and or you can choose from, get this, 30 million plus different games that have been created. 30 million. Now, I mean, I don't know who has the time to sort through all that, but I know they've got some good filters to help you kind of figure out what's the best one for your needs. So you can choose from the ones they have or create your own. And uh, then they can play live or even students, uh, you can set it up where they can do a self-paced challenge so they can do it individually. And then it also um, gives you all that report and information back after to um, show where they're at in their learning. Uh, you can host that live one, like I said, via distance learning through the, those video conferencing tools. Um, you can also sign that self-paced piece. Um, and the cool thing about this one is questions and answers will be displayed on their screen, so that is important. Uh, they are offering Kahoot Premium to any educational institution that has been affected by COVID-19. So just go to kahoot.com to check out more information. The second tool that I want to talk about that I have used is called Poll, Poll Everywhere. Uh, it's a web-based response system that lets you embed interactive activities into your lessons directly. Uh, your students can respond through the web or through a text message, so they can just type in a quick link or they can just type it into their, uh, do a text message through their phone to a specific number. I've used this before. I have students who have used both. It didn't really matter. Um, I didn't get their contact information if they used their cell phone. It worked pretty slick. Um, and basically, you simply ask a question. They uh, send in their response. You collect those responses, and then it shares the results out. It's easy as one, two, three. Uh, and it's really great just for participation to get your students into it as you're doing things. Uh, so right now, they are offering a 90-day complimentary premium plan to all educators. So go to www.polleverywhere.com to learn more. So the third and final tool that I want to talk about today is called Quizzes. Uh, quizzes allows you to conduct a student-paced formative assessments in a fun and engaging way for all ages. Um, lots of people will confuse this one and uh, Kahoot, but the thing I like about this one the most uh, is just that student self-paced piece. So you can pick the perfect quiz uh, or create your own. And basically, again, same thing, you can choose from millions of uh, free created teacher ones that have um, been linked to different standards and outcomes too that you can filter. So that's pretty cool. Uh, students engage at their own self pace or they can play a live game together or use the homework mode piece as well. Uh, they can use any device to progress independently, which is one thing I really like as well. Uh, it does the grading for you and then you can see where your students are at and where they need to go. 
I like this tool because whether you're playing live or asynchronously, uh, students can see the questions on their devices and they can play on any device without logging into account, which I think is key. Uh, so to find out more, just go to quizis.com. Now I'm Canadian, so I say Zed. Uh, so when I spell this out, don't judge me. <laughs> you're gonna, it's going to be Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z. -Z -Z, translation for my American friends. Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z.com. So there you have it, my top assessment tools uh, for remote and distance learning. I'd love to know what other tools you are using to support assessment with your classes um, while you're doing this all digitally. Let us know in the comment section below and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you very much for joining me today and we'll talk soon.